Hi, I'm Amy Lilly Stewart. I am the academic course leader for the secondary PGC course here at the University of Gloucestershire. We are very proud of our course, which is rated as outstanding, and we are based at the beautiful campus of Francis Close Hall. Um, one of the things that we pride ourselves on um, is our vision, which is very much focused on putting children at the centre of everything that we do. Um, when you come onto the course and work with us, we will have many discussions about how important it is to support individual learners and help them on their journey to progress through education. So one of our unique selling points for our provision at the University of Gloucestershire is that our trainees become graduate ambassadors, leaders of learning, outstanding teachers and subject experts. Um, and Really what I'd like to talk to you just now and something that we talk a lot about um, on the course is why you want to be a teacher, why do you want to work with young people um, and I always ask you find that thing, that reason of why you want to be working in a school. For me it's all about making a difference to individual lives. I've always worked in quite challenging um, context but I've really enjoyed working with children that have challenging behaviours um, and enabling them to achieve through their education has always been at the centre of everything that I do. Um, so we will ask you an interview um, if you come and have an interview with us why you want to be a teacher and we'll continue to ask you that and hold on to the reason why um, you are training to teach throughout the course. So for the secondary provision that we have, we have a range of subjects that you can train to teach in um, and really what we would hope by the time you're invited for interview is that you know what subject you would like to teach. Um, so these subjects that we offer are art, English, computing, sciences, specifically biology, PE, geography, history and mathematics. Um, each of these subjects um, have subject specialists that you work with at the university as well as working with excellent colleagues in schools. In terms of how the programme works we have particular training phases. So we have three stages of training, um, the first being the developing phase. So on a PGCE course we don't expect you to be experts. Um, part of our role as training providers is to give you the skills that you need to enable you to be the best teacher possible. And we do that in three distinctive phases. The first one being the developing, second is where we try and broaden your skills um, and extend what you've learnt to enable you to be the best teacher possible in that phase. And then at the very end of the year we have the final phase where you can enhance and polish um, some of those skills that you have learned. Uh, so if you are thinking about training with us, I think it's very important that you gain a sense um, of the placements that we offer and how the course actually operates. Um, our course is quite unique in that it has three school teaching placements. Um, the first one, School Experience One, is a one day a week placement where we get you to look at specific learning needs, um, usually working with small groups um, of children. Um, and this year um, we are actually running that placement as a digital and online placement. School Experience Two um, runs alongside School Experience One. Um, this is your standard teach training placement where you are in a school four days a week. Um, you have a gradual increase of teaching. Um, so we don't just throw you in. Um, we ensure that you have a smooth transition from the lecture programme that you would have had when we start in September. Um, to be able to gain confidence and to build your levels of confidence to enable you to teach. Um, so we don't just throw you straight in, um, you do have lots of support from colleagues in schools um, to ensure that you are able to understand what you've learnt from the lectures at the university to enable you then to comfortably start to teach. The final school experience placement, um, school experience three, happens usually from February until June. Um, this is a five day a week placement where again you are working with um, whole classes and you can have a gradual increase of teaching once you start the placement. However, at this point we tend to find that the trainees are very much ready to get stuck in straight away um, and they are ready to go. All of our partnership schools that we work with um, are usually based in the area of Gloucestershire. However, we do work with schools um, 
south of Gloucestershire, Bristol, Wales, Worcester, Oxfordshire. Um, and I do have a trainee this year who is working down in Somerset. Um, predominantly our partnership schools are based in the county um, and we are very privileged to have a variety of schools that we can work with who are very experienced with training teachers. Um, we have some amazing senior leaders um, in those schools that support you um, and it is one of the best things about my role is working with the schools uh, within our partnership. So for our provision at the University of Gloucestershire, um, we offer a course where there are several assessment points. We have three school experience modules, which I've already briefly outlined to you, that you would have to undertake and pass. Um, during these placements, you have the responsibility of demonstrating how you are meeting the teacher's standards, which will then enable us to then put you forward for your qualified teacher status at the end of the academic year. Um, those three modules are a pass or fail module, so you either pass it or you don't. Um, and we put lots of mechanisms in place to support you to ensure that you know exactly what you need to do. You have weekly targets, um, you get regular feedback from the subject mentor in your school, that's the person that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis, to enable you to know how to meet those teacher's standards. Running alongside your school placement, you also have a module where you have to gather your evidence um, to demonstrate that you are meeting the teacher's standards and that is presented in a digital portfolio which we call the Professional Evidence Portfolio. Um, that is a, a whole year module that runs um, and again it is pass or fail um, but we have lots of personal tutorials linked tutor visits from staff from the university that will check in on your portfolio and give you advice um, to ensure that it's high quality um, and that ultimately you're going to meet the teachers standards and then finally um, we have two master's level modules that you undertake alongside your teaching practice um, the first one is very much centered on pedagogical approaches in the secondary school um, and we get you to look um, at these approaches within your own subject area so they're very exciting because everybody looks at something completely different um, it is usually focused on um, a class that you've been working with or been observing um, and you will make direct connections with theory that underpins what is happening in the classroom which will then hopefully uh, further develop your own teaching. It's a 5,000 word assignment um, and one of the things that we have put in place um, since the course started is what we call assignment clinics. So you will have your regular lectures at the beginning of the year um, setting the assignment but there will be drop-in sessions after school should you choose to attend where you learn how to write at master's level and get further support on that. The final assignment is my favourite. Um, this one is the School Research Inquiry, again at master's level. Um, what's really lovely about this particular assignment is that it is very much centred on your school experience three, where you look at the school improvement plan, choose a priority and do a very small scale research project to see if you can make an actual impact on that priority. This module is split into part presentation, and then there is a written report that you write at the end um, and we encourage you strongly to share your findings with your placement school which they absolutely um, love and appreciate. So I have previously mentioned that in terms of support there is a lot of support during this course from the university as well as what happens in our partnership schools. Um, assignment clinics I've mentioned, the other um, support mechanism we have while you're out on placement are trainee teach meets. They are digital, um, we meet on Microsoft Teams fortnightly um, at the moment, it might change next year, it depends on different cohorts as they come in, we kind of work towards meeting the needs of our trainees, so if you want to have more meetings we can. Um, these are an opportunity for you to ask any questions that you're not sure about. It is a touch point for you to see each other because when you are out in placement, it can at times feel quite isolating. Um, and we are very, very keen to build a sense of community within our trainee teachers um, so that you don't feel alone and that you can share good practice. Um, we also have link tutors and personal tutors um, 
through the university. So the personal tutor is your go-to person um, about anything you want to ask about the course, applying for jobs. Um, you meet with them three times a year, sometimes more. Um, that's, that's up to you. Um, but you are entitled to three meetings a year. With our link tutor, that sometimes tends to be the same person, but not always. Your link tutor um, is a university colleague who has experience in teacher training, who comes out and sees you um, teach in school, and they quality assure what is happening in school to make sure that everything is in place that it should be, but also that you are working consistently towards the teacher standards. Um, your link tutor usually is your subject lead. Um, so the way that our course works is that you have myself as the academic course leader and then in the different subject areas we have a subject expert who will teach you um, your subject pedagogy and ensure that you know everything that you need to know as best as possible because we can't teach you everything um, but you will know um, what you need to be doing in terms of how do I manage um, my students in a science class or what subject knowledge do I need to further develop and that person will support you throughout the year but more than likely will also be your link tutor. Um, so if you are interested in applying to our course um, the process in which you need to go through currently is through UCAS. Um, you will need to provide a personal statement and you will need to have references to support your application. My top tips um, for your personal statement is to ensure that first of all you say why you want to work with um, young people. Also identify the skills and attributes that you have that you feel would make you a good teacher. Now that doesn't have to be experience from within a school. Um, it could be that you've worked with a community group, um, you may have led a team, um, it might be that you've had a managerial role. Um, please ensure that you make those links and connections with the skills we would be looking for for a teacher. Uh, the other aspect within the personal statement that I would want to see um, is your understanding of the national curriculum and how your own subject knowledge um, would enable you to teach those areas successfully and ultimately why you are applying for a particular route. So do your research. Um, if you are applying for a PGCE, make sure that you have a strong sense of why um, that particular route is for you. Now your personal statement is 4,000 characters um, and I would advise before you start the application on UCAS that you write it in a Word document um, because sometimes the system um, will cut out um, and you have to start all over again. My other top tip as well is if you are going to ask referees um, to support your application, contact them before you start the application process because that can slow your application being processed through the system. If you are successful um, from the application stage and invited to interview, um, I have some more top tips for you, which I will outline now. Uh, so if you are invited to interview, um, what you will usually expect um, through the process is an interview panel, which is usually myself, um, a subject lead, or a colleague from school. Um, we will ask you set questions, and usually there is a question in there about why you want to be a teacher. So think about that slide I talked about finding your why um, and be prepared to answer that question, whether you're interviewed with us or, or anywhere else across the country for teacher training. Um, you usually are asked to do some form of a teaching episode. So for this year, we are actually asking our applicants um, to do an online teach um, simply because of the situation we find ourselves in. Um, so please be prepared. It's usually focused um, on key stage three, where we will ask you to select um, a subject within the national curriculum and do a mini teaching episode. Key things that we will be looking for in that teaching episode is confidence, the ability to present um, and inform people of knowledge, um, some of the key skills that you would need if you were going to become a teacher. Um, I've put a group task on there just because sometimes you can be asked um, to work in a group. My, my top piece of advice with that particular process is don't fall into the trap of thinking that it's a competitive situation. If you are asked to do a group task, what the provider is usually looking for um, is communication skills, 
listening skills um, and that you are comfortable working in a small group environment and are able to respect each other um, and find a way to work together. So in terms of what you need to demonstrate, um, which will enable you to be successful onto our course, um, one of the things that I always feel very inspired by is applicants that talk about current issues in education. Um, what I would advise is if you are invited for interview, don't just go straight to COVID. What I would very much like you to think about is what are the current issues in my subject area um, and be able to talk through those clearly with us, um, as well as talking about the issues and challenges that we are facing um, in the current climate. If you have experience of teaching um, or being in a school, please do make sure that you mention that. If you've mentioned it in your personal statement, um, absolutely mention it in interview. Don't assume that we will remember everything. This is your opportunity to sell yourself, so repeat what is in your personal statement and go further with it. Another key tip is ensure that you are able to make links to the skills and knowledge that you need to have as a teacher. Um, and ultimately, we're looking for people that have confidence and are able to present in front of other people and manage a class. Now, we appreciate that you will be nervous at interview, um, so don't worry about that, but you need to find a way to present yourself that can demonstrate that you will be able to um, work well with children in school. Um, so just some final thoughts for you to take away, and I hope you found this um, helpful. With our course, um, you are supported throughout the year. It's a very intensive year, one year course. Um, it's one of the most challenging years going into teaching, but it's ultimately one of the most rewarding. Um, in terms of the lectures that we offer you, we will ensure that at the start of the year from September, you will have um, lectures all day on professional studies where we will look at teaching um, from across the school um, to enable you to be the best teacher possible. So we will look at things like safeguarding, behaviour management, uh, pedagogical approaches that will underpin your teaching practice and then you will take those um, strands within our lecture programme into your subject knowledge days where you'll really focus in on well what does this look like if I'm a biologist or what does this look like if I'm a PE teacher and consolidate what you've learned through the week um, to enable you to be the best teacher possible. Those days are absolutely wonderful where you're working in your subject group because you are working with like-minded people but on the professional studies days where we're based at the park campus you will all come together as one big community from each subject area, learn from each other and work together. Um, and then just finally, a final, final thought, um, if you are going to apply to us, please think about what an amazing impact you can have on children's lives. Um, and I think that this final image really does um, put teaching at the heart of what we should be doing, and that is helping and supporting young people um, to succeed in their lives.